That took so much practice daily. So much practice. I dedicated all my time to it. And that's how I became a master. Everyone wants to be a master at many things in this world. Let's say, for example, a pianist. Someone watches someone perform, play the piano, and they become so inspired, they're like, oh my gosh, I really want to become a pianist now. And let's say, you know, they start taking lessons and they're kind of getting into it. But after the first few months, they don't progress that much. They compare themselves again to the pianist that they saw initially that inspired them to start playing. And they're like, I'm never going to get to this level. It's too hard. I can't even play the piano. And this guy's playing beautifully. And then they quit because they just don't have the motivation anymore. But you have to understand that no one begins as a master in anything in this world. Even that pianist began with just learning what the notes were on the piano, learning the most simple pieces. They began at the same stage. They did not become a master overnight or they were not born a master. And a lot of people just don't like this fact. They don't pursue other hobbies and stuff they're interested in because they know that they can't just become a master straight away. They can't paint all the beautiful things in their mind which they want to paint because it takes time to actually develop their skills. For example, I was never a master when I started the Rubik's Cube. It took me such a long time to do it for the first time. Like my first ever record was like 15 minutes. But then it got to 10 minutes, then 5, then 1, then 30 seconds on my record was like 28. But that didn't come overnight. That took so much practice daily, so much practice. I dedicated all my time to it. And that's how I became a master. I didn't begin there. It took me 15 minutes normally on average to solve it before. So you just have to know that no matter what you do, I'm obviously there will be the privileged people who are born with a natural talent. But for the majority of us, we do not start off as masters when we pursue something. And all the masters which you see who are you know, really good musicians, really good at business, really good at studying, they did not start off like that. They started from the exact same position you were in. They didn't know anything initially, but they practiced. They took the time to learn the proper techniques, the skills, and whatever they were doing. And then, after long hours and hard work, they became masters. And we fail to recognize that. We only see the final product <laughs> and not the hours and hours that they spent to become that. So my final advice is, is that in your self-improvement journey, when you start the new things like reading regularly, meditating, taking cold showers, socializing more, etc., it will be so hard initially and you won't be good at it. That's just how it is. No one is perfect when they begin something. No one is just born a master. It will take time, especially in the beginning, a lot of time and effort to start curating the skills to become better. But if you continue this, it's guaranteed. If you wholeheartedly continue this journey or in anything you want to pursue and you start slowly becoming better and better, learning and learning, practicing the techniques, learning from others, etc., then you will become a master. And all that hard work that you did before will be worth it. Thanks for watching this video guys. I hope it was helpful. I know I repeated myself quite a bit, but I just want to install it in your minds that my last time I'll say this, that no one is born a master in anything. No one is born a master. They all started at the same position that you were, that you are. Or if you want to pursue something, let's say painting. No one started as a master in painting. They started with the complete basics and they brought themselves up there. So whatever you want to pursue, go for it. And I wish you all the best. Thank you.